In this video, we're going to be comparing the performance of our digit system against the popular open source database called SQLite. In other videos, we did benchmarks against the Postgres database, but at this stage of its development, Digits is actually closer to SQLite in what it can do. So here we have two applications. One is the DB browser for SQLite, which calls the SQLite API. See, it's uh, the latest version. We just downloaded it. And the other one is our Digit browser, which calls the Digit uh, Platforms API to create tables and manipulate data that way. So we, uh, we loaded in the Chicago crime data. So we open data portal for the city of Chicago. You can download crime reports for the last 22 years. We really like this data set because it uh, has 7.6 million rows in it. We, this particular version is changing all the time, but uh, was downloaded in September. It's got 22 columns of various data types. So there, there's some dates in here. There's some integers. There's some geolocations, uh, so lots of good data types. And there's also some errors in, in the table, and we'd like to be able to show how we can uh, help find and correct those errors. But for this video, we're going to strictly be doing uh, performance against queries. So we have created, came in here and created three different indexes against this crime table for the block, the location, and the primary type uh, within this. So we come over here to the execute SQL page. We're going to find all the crimes where the primary type is burglary and it happened in an apartment. So you can see I, I ran this previously and it took almost 900 milliseconds. Uh, we can run it a couple more times here. You'll see it, that one's a little more than 900. This one, 926. But the fastest I saw was just under 900 milliseconds. Uh, so returning 121,000 rows. We come over here to the digit browser, and we see this. We have the exact same query here. We're going to find everything where burglaries happen in an apartment. And here, down here, we have the time. And so, if we just double click, whoop, that did the whole thing. Apartment burglaries. So that one took 75 milliseconds. That one took 68. That one took 69. So our best is about 69 milliseconds. Whereas the best I could get here is a is a just under 900. So we're more than 10 times faster. It's more like 12 or 13 times faster on this particular query. Now let's say we wanted to, to not find just burglaries in apartments, but we wanted to also do it by the year. So we only want to see burglaries in apartments that hap that were happened in the year 2008. So we run that query, and it takes, a, you know, almost twice as long. So this is 1.8 seconds, basically, to, to execute that. And the reason it does that is we come back here to our database structure is we don't have an index on the year. So let's go and create an index. Call this IDX year, and we're going to add the year to that. And we're going to create this index. It takes a few seconds to do an index. And we'll come back to this SQL query where we're getting burglaries and apartments by the a particular year. And instead of 1800 milliseconds, you're going to see it's going to speed up to where it's only taking 200 milliseconds. But again, it's only returning a little over 7,000 rows where a burglary happened in an apartment in 2008. So let's do the same thing here. Let's come and mo modify that uh, query in digits here. We're going to and the locate or the year as equals 2008. Now, if we run it, we should get the same 7,600 rows. And we took 88 milliseconds. So by adding the index here, uh, we got it just around 200 milliseconds. We can run it a couple more times, and you'll see the best is just barely under, so 196, 213. So average is around 200 milliseconds, but it's uh, 
more than twice as slow or we're twice as fast with digits because we're well under 100 milliseconds where SQLite is taking a couple hundred sec milliseconds. So the, the cool thing is that we didn't have to go in and add any additional indexes. So if we wanted to further get this query down to where, you know, uh, an arrest was made or is in a particular ward or community or where the location was, we could just add that. We'll get the fastest thing possible uh, that is, you know, twice as fast or better than SQLite without having to go and create indexes. Because that's one of the biggest pains with uh, other database systems is your, your, your query gets slow, you go analyze it, and sure enough, it's because you didn't have an index on some part of your query, and that slowed everything down, especially on these big tables that have millions and millions of rows. But with digits, we don't need separate indexes at all to get our very fast performance. Uh, you just set your query and run it, and away it goes, and we are extremely fast. We're in open beta, so you can download uh, this digit browser and all the, the files you need from our website at www.digits.com. Load in your own data set or you can go get the Chicago crime data yourself and, and duplicate this on your own machine. Uh, we're really fast and we'd love to have you try it out on your own data set. Thank you very much.